what is up everybody welcome back to the channel for those of y'all that are just joining me those that are new to the channel welcome Hope everyone's still having a uh, having a good new year so today we are out here on Lake Waccamaw it's one of the uh, the crater lakes in southeast North Carolina the big just gi big gigantic bowls you can see it's literally just a giant oval <laughs> just giant oval super shallow I'm out I'm out here half half mile away from the bank over there and it is five feet deep four and a half five feet deep so one of these places it's su super shallow it gets to it gets to about eight and a half nine out in the middle if you can find a couple spots but that's probably where we're gonna be heading today gonna be heading out towards the middle a lot of brush piles some slight drops and stuff like that even even these super super shallow lakes like this a uh, half a foot drop a one foot drop is a huge deal to these fish so that they will they will relate to that stuff you know and, and you're in your lakes like norman and stuff like that it takes you know a five foot drop something something fairly significant to hold the fish out out here it's kind of you know half a foot is, is all that you really need so we're gonna be out here look, looking for stuff like that like that guy right there where it just kind of drops off a little bit it's where these fish are gonna be hanging out you know a little, little bit warmer water it's not not much warm but it's a little bit warmer you'll be out here kind of poking around and anytime i get out here in lake waccamaw i like i like gold this water is normally on the on the tannic on the tannic side of things <coughs> sorry guys on the tannic side of things so i, I like my golds you know so it's a little bit dirty out a little bit dirty a little bit tannic kind of that that dark water kind of that dark water so i like i like throwing those colors out here tends, tends to do pretty well um Today's video is going to be sponsored by Tylenol and NyQuil. <laughs> Y'all can't tell. I'm just, just messing with you. Guys, it's going to be a old, old Town Kayaks. They got me out here. Big Water PDL. Running running the Humminbird Solix. So, guys, if y'all have any questions about that, looks like there's a couple of fish out there. A couple of fish right, at, right as we come off that drop. We got a couple of fish out there. Any questions about the kayak? Any question about the Solix? I'll, I'll go. I'll go through it a little bit more as the year goes on. Obviously, I've, I've, you know, tweaked a couple things. I've added some things. Kind of, kind of made it fit for, uh, for my, how, how I like the fish and, and how, how I roll out here. So, uh, other than that, there's some tires out here. Getting, getting kind of close to one of the spots I want to fish at. So, um, uh, let's put some, uh, put some of these lures in the water and catch some fish. All right, y'all. There he is. Three or four casts in. And he hammered that thing too. He hammered that thing. So yeah, three or three or four casts in. Come right out here off the drop. We're in seven seven feet of water now. We were in four and a half. Came right off into seven and a half. And there we go. Oh, he's barely got it. He's barely got it too. Oh. And that hook needs to stay in you, not in me. So. Mm. Oh, buddy, I'd like to lip you, but. I think you're the only one that needs to be hooked today. All right, decent start. Well, you know, pound and a half, pound and a half are out here. And there he goes.
God. I felt that one knock a still. Like I said, I'm still learning the jerk bait. That fish definitely hit it before I set the hook into him. It's a little bit better fish. That's a little bit better fish. I felt I felt that little tick and I was like, I think that was a fish. I think that was a fish. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. oh I had a feeling that was coming, especially since I didn't get the get a great hook set in him. And he bent my hook out. It's alright. A couple, couple quick bites like that. I mean, at least, like I said, I'm still lear still learning this jerk bait here. Like, what the bites feel like. You know, how the retrieve, but retrieves that work best, all that. So, I'll take it. There, there he is. Oh wait, still got it. <laughs> still got it. <laughs> I thought I lost him. I thought I lost him there for a second because he hit it and then just kind of rolled around on it. All right. All right. Come here, buddy. You have. Oh, I bet you. I bet you it came out. He got every single treble hook. I bet you it came off of a fish. I bet you one had it. And it, and it came out of that one's mouth and this guy grabbed it. And you unfortunately weren't going anywhere. Still over that way a little bit. Okay. That one grabbed it. It's another good fish. Oh, that's another good fish. I'll try not to lose this one. That, that one hit as I was kind of reeling a little bit. He didn't hit it on the fall or anything. He hit it as I was picking up on it. Oh, oh yes. Here we go, guys. You can see the fish on the side scan. <laughs> you can see the fish swimming on the side scan. Okay. Oh. Oh, y'all love to only get that one hook in you, don't you? And y'all have it hanging right there next to my hand. Right there next to my hand. Mm. All right, there we go. So love these like walk them off fish, super long, super chunky. I love the, the nice black spots they have on them. Got a couple little spots on them here and there. They're getting bigger. We're, go, we're going the right direction. Mm. There he is. <laughs> I, th I thought I felt one hit it and I let it fall and I just snatched it up really quick. He ran up behind it and got it. All right. I think we found a couple of them here. This water's, you know, 55, 54, 55 degrees. They're not 
super super active what, what what have you done here fish you've got that everywhere all tangled come here come here come here Oh. And you got it in your mouth, you got it outside the mouth, you got it. to do some do some surgery right quick on you. No. no, I think he's good. Oh gotcha. There you go. Good. Yeah, two pounder, got the nice you got black the black spots on them here and here and there. I don't know what causes that. I don't know if it's I've seen I see it in river fish a lot, but these aren't these aren't really river fish. These are lake fish that have come in, or river fish that have, I guess come into the river. But there you go. Oh, that's a good one. Just kind of lifting, lifting, and you just felt it go thunk. <laughs> he swallowed it too. I can tell just by the way you hit it, you swallowed it. Oh yeah. You can tell when they hit it like that, they've just like, you can, you can feel it just knock the back of their mouth. <laughs> and you know that they just got it, got it. Yep. <laughs> Rattle trap's gone. That's a little bit better fish than we've been looking for. If I can get him over here. Come here, buddy. Yes, yes, sir. Be really careful with them hooked like that, hooked in the tongue like that. Mm. Yeah, buddy. That's one of the ones we've been looking for today. Like a bird got him or something. Look at the top. He's missing a chunk out there. It's a good fish. Oh gosh, now we have a problem. <laughs> I got hung up with a rattle trap, so I threw the, <laughs> threw the Nico out there just to see. And I'm still hung up with the rattle trap. <laughs> oh gosh. Oh. That's a decent one. That's a good one. Mm. Man, you aren't going anywhere. You are not going anywhere with that thing. Mm. They're good fish. Two and a half pounder. I was just throwing the Nico just to just to play around with it a little bit, but all right. Oh, and I just dropped my just dropped my O-ring in the water. Ah, oh. I have to rig that up and throw that out there again. Just to... my broken down, beat up old weed guard. <laughs> I saw that fish on the side scan. <laughs> I saw him on the side scan. So I was throwing over there. There's two. There's actually two of them over there. 
and I threw the jerk bait over there and I swore I felt something peck the jerk bait. So I grabbed the rattle trap and threw the rattle trap out there. I can get I can get it down a little bit better. And there he is. There he is, folks. There he goes. There he is. Oh. There he be. And he got it, too. I mean, got it, got it. When they eat it head first like that. Oh, so you know they want it. Oh no, what have I done? What's going on? My pliers hung up in the hooks. Oh, man, pliers grabbing everything. Good fish again. He's got a little scratch. He's got a scuff mark on him. Like all these fish out here, these fish get beat up somehow, some way, shape, or form. All right, everybody. So um, I'm gonna I'm gonna call it here. I'm gonna start to head back in. Over overall, awesome awesome day out here. I don't know, 10, 15 fish, all, all really good solid fish. You know, two pounders, three pounders. Caught caught one that was you know four, probably four ish. Ton, tons of fish. Always always a great day when I can come out here and just catch catch a whole bunch of them. Didn't have, didn't have to worry about any like little 12 inches or anything like that. They're all uh, you know good solid fish. Uh, nice thing I did did get to work on the jerk bait a little bit. I'm still I don't I don't think I've still got it 100% down. Still still working on the my, my jerk bait skills. I feel like I was miss, missing a couple fish. I feel like I'm I'm still giving it a little bit too much slack. Whenever I'm popping it, so I'm not I'm not able to feel the bites and things like that as well as I can as well as I should. So I'm not not. I'm throwing the the, Ber the Berkeley stun. I'm not entirely loving that. It, it's got it's got the the cast control on it, though the weighted. Okay, as, as all the jerk baits have the, the little weight that rolls to the back, but it only has one little tiny one that rolls to the back. So whenever I cast it, it just kind of does that helicopter most of the time. Occasionally I can get it to like rock it out there, but I feel like like 70% of the time it sits there and does this helicopter thing and. I, I don't know. It, it doesn't, doesn't seem to cast as well as like your Mega Basses or the, uh, the one of the Six Cents, the Six Cents Provokes. The Provokes have they have a brass weight in the tail and two big ball bearings that roll to the back, and it helps. It seems to just help it just cast a little bit better. So I, I might, I might kind of try, try and move over to those. I, I got a, I got a lot of the Berkeley Stunners. I've caught a lot of fish on them. They're they're good. They're good when the when I can get them in front of the fish, but. Eh, it is what it is. Might might they're, they're half the price of the mega basses, which is why I kind of I've got a couple more of those than I do, you know, one tens and stuff. But might have to switch over to those. And then uh, the other the other thing, the the crankbait has has always crankbait in the winter time for me rules the day. This thing's got scratches all over the place on it now. It's, it is all chewed up. This thing got teeth teeth marks all over it wearing the wearing the paint off of it like, like i said i do i always like i always like throwing gold out here it just kind of seems to, to mesh with the water really well it's kind of that darker it's on a darker you know darker green right now so that that gold especially in the jerk bait shows shows up so uh other than that it was a good good day so uh i've got a couple couple days off here i need to like i said i need to go up to lake murray and practice on that I might run back to Lake Norman sometime this week as well. We're gonna be doing like like I said, tur tournament practice for KBF BOS Bass Open Series, all all that fun stuff. Like I said the goal goal for this year is to make the uh, make the Old Town Pro Team. So I am on the regional regional pro staff. I would like to be on the the national pro staff. And in order to do that, got to got to do uh, well in some tournaments. Got to do pretty well in some tournaments. So. Got to, got to get ready for that February 25th Lake Murray and then the week after that we're gonna be on Gunnersville. I really really like Gunnersville. Love hate with Lake Murray so probably next next couple days I'll be out there on Lake Murray. 
chat checking around see chance kind of prepping for that one but guys you know, thank you all for watching as so as always i'm look, looking at the fish in the depth finder there's a school of fish right over there i'm gonna ignore them ignore the fish ignore the fish i'm done i'm done with y'all today but uh guys thank you thanks for watching as always like comment subscribe if you have any questions for me feel feel free to let me know say so, like, like i said i'm gonna be going over some more stuff about my cot my kayak as the as the you know as the gets a little bit warmer out and i can you know get out out and around it a little bit better but uh man there's a bunch of fish look at all this got fish right there got a couple fish right there like i said i'm ignoring them i'm going home I'm going home caught, caught a lot of fish today i'm gonna tell them i'll take that as a win so all right all right y'all I'm, I'm, I'm gonna end it on that thanks thanks for watching everybody i'll see y'all next time